demon, man. You a demon, man. Straight up. Yeah, it's, it's you. You a demon, man. You got demons on you. You know, and, she, and more demons come out. Ah, oh, man. So it's stressful, man. But we gonna make do so it. How, 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 you, how do you deal with that? I just use wisdom. I understand that in these last days, women ain't they not in the truth, man. They ain't gonna get it. You know, so certain things I just I, I refrain from telling her. So, so the person that you they 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 Of course, yeah, we all are. You know, yeah. I have to look. I saw the day, bro. I got I got to talk to you. Yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got you. out, You know, but yeah. They they you know you know the woman is weak at best. So the, you know the, the, the left hand spirits will hop on numb to get to us. Same way the serpent went to Eve and not Adam. Went to Eve first and Eve got to Adam. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they'll try to get to us. I, the I, of the I, Lord. Was, I was in the train and I'm like, yo, man. I'm going to go to all the battle. I'm like, yo, I'm going to train. And the poke came to my head. And if the left hand called you, you just know you got to cut it off. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm just about this. Yup, yup. Like, yeah. That's what Paul I, said. You know what I mean? She was like, go to her too. But the spiritual, you know, I feel like if I, if I want to continue to cut it off, bro, it's going to be like a beat. Yeah. 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 Whatever she goes, yeah. it's being protected on to me. Yeah. I'm like, you trying to protect yourself, bro? It's like, yo, bro. Let me go before you until I'm like, you're going to go. It's like, yo, bro. Let me go before you until I'm like, you're going to go. And that's why Paul said, um, if, if, if I'll have, what's the scripture? So I want to pull it instead of Paul. Oh, uh, uh, 729? Corinthians, right? Oh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 1? I believe so, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. First Corinthians 7 and 1. Now concerning the things wherefore whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Yeah, so he's saying, Paul's saying, listen, I'd rather you be like me. Don't deal with nobody. So Paul is saying, go ahead. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Or to avoid sexual immorality, because that's not for everybody. Yeah, yeah. But some dudes they need, they may need an actual woman. Or they may end up doing something extreme. Yeah. It may they may commit adultery. Yeah. yeah, commit adultery. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. they may start dealing with them, you know, start just going off. Dealing with them, left, left, yeah. and right now they yeah. got diseases, you know. Yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, relationship is basically like for the week. No, no, no. no, no, no. It, it, everybody has a different spirit. Yeah, everyone got a different spirit. Everybody's just made different. Because you got elders in this thing that got their wife, they got, they got, they got yeah. children, you know what I'm saying? And they, and they, yeah. So you have some brothers who have That's some eunuchs. brothers. Some yeah. brothers are eunuchs. You know? Yeah. They're not dealing with no woman at all. Yeah. See? So it's all it's all based on you know your, your spirit. You know yeah, and what what can you what can you endure? Yep, yep. Yeah. But you gotta know what like honestly, it's like I'm gonna bring yeah. it down. But you gotta know what comes with it though. What what happened to women, especially in these last days, they're not gonna get the truth. You know, so I made the mistake of trying to put her onto the truth, thinking that you're gonna change and you know wrap up and all that stuff. Eve, it's Eve, you're gonna be Eve. They got a mouth on them. They're gonna, they're gonna talk all types of shit when they get mad. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they got demons on them, so they're gonna try to make you go off. They, they do not agree with multiple wives. So I, I don't remember that day I told you I had to let her know because she was telling me, she, she said something. I told her, like, listen, man, we can have more than one of my wife if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that in these last days. Why would I? I'm not gonna do that. It's not expedient. You know, but according to the laws, it's lawful. we going back and forth about that. I said, listen, I'm done with this convo. You're not gonna get it. That's it. Yeah. That's what they call polygamy nowadays, yeah. but it's, you know, it's, 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 it's um, yeah. yeah, the scriptures, yeah, King David had more than one wife, King Solomon had thousands. In the kingdom, you're going to have more than your heart's desire. Yeah, more than your heart's desire. But matter of fact, you started on this side, you know, if you want. Yeah. Because, like, when common sense start kicking in, when you start examining Isaiah 4 and 1, you're like, these women ain't going to look how they look now. Yeah, they not. No, they not. It's not gonna be a rap video. They gonna look horrible, man. Yep. They gonna smell horrible, man. Yeah. See what I'm saying? And that's when they gonna really humble down. And that they could right now, you know, your woman will give you hell. You know, it's all a part of our um spiritual battle anyway. A uh, walk. We're in captivity. You know, we not. This is not our rest. We're not gonna have our, our women is not gonna be our pillar of rest on this side. Man. They gonna cause us hell. You know, it's rare. It's rare to find a virtuous woman. You know what I'm saying? So um. When all hell starts breaking loose, that's when they're gonna really hold me down though. They're gonna see like, oh snap, like everything he's been telling me was this, this is really right. Like, oh, oh hell breaking loose, the famine going on right now. I can't even wear, put makeup on and look nice. Their securities are gonna pop out. You know, they're gonna be feeling like they, they And if they, they don't get an order, they're gonna get left behind. Yeah, if they don't get an order, they're gonna know like oh snap, he's gonna he gonna leave me any moment now. If you leave me, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're gonna see it. You know what I'm but saying? We approaching that, you see they talking about the second lockdown, right? And um you see election coming up too, man. So, man, it's about to get turned up out here, man. See? You can imagine that a power outage out here. Man. It's 
gonna be a jungle out here, man. And that's where woman pride is gonna be. They're not gonna have any. They're not. It's gonna be obsolete, man. Obsolete. Uh, like brother said, without even makeup, they have insecurities. All the insecurities are gonna start coming out. And they and if they can't um say if they can't wash themselves every day, they're they gonna start stinking. So you're not even gonna want to live with them, you know? You're gonna be too focused on making it to the kingdom. You're gonna be like, oh, pilgrimage, you know? Place to place, spot to spot. I don't got no time to be laying with you right now. It's not the time for it no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even in the mood. You need hunger. You know, kind of, yeast infection. All kind of things are going to be happening down there, man. Yeah. Leading because there ain't going to be no tampons to go to the store. So that's just going to be horrible. Yeah, be horrible. Horrible, man. man. So when, it's, when like yeah. he was going into when Isaiah 4 1 come about, 7 1 take over to one man, yeah. it's not going to be a rap video. It's not yeah. going to be 7 1 me like this, chilling, taking pictures. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be hard. It's going to be different. I would yeah. say that. I mean, it's not going to be like that. What people thought it was. Yeah, the weeds and the whips going to be gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no wigs, no weaves, no eye, eyeshadow, no make your eyebrows on fleek, no nails, none of that stuff. They're not got none of that, man. So they're going to humble down completely, like, and to like, a level of, like, okay, like. You think, you think they'll, they'll really humble down, or will it, or will it, will it bring them to a state of mental depression? Uh, mental depression. Well, they're they going to know in that time, beyond a shot of doubt, that they're going to need a man of the Lord. Just be saved because imagine well, all those things we just said gonna happen to them, and then they're gonna see bodies out here, then they're gonna see women getting raped out here, then they're gonna see um troops, mercenaries out here, then people are gonna be having diseases. It's gonna be a crazy time, man. And then there's no power on top of that, no clean water. You see, that's why I, you remember Book of Eli, that young white chick. Oh, oh, I yeah. No, it was. I didn't take it off. I think it's yeah. You've seen, you seen, you seen the road? Yeah. You seen the road? Nah, I see. I need a road. Oh, you gotta, yeah, you gotta see that. It's good movie. Because movies. remember the first scene in the road, what, what his wife did? Yep. She killed herself. She killed herself, man. Because she knew that they, when they came, they yeah. got him, they were gonna rape her. She said, "Look, listen, they gonna kill y'all. Me, they gonna rape, then kill me." You know what I'm saying? She want to go through that. Yeah, society totally collapsed. Collapsed. And it was just gangs everywhere. And it was just their, their family, him, his wife, and his kids. And she was like, I can't deal with this. I got to she, she killed herself. Because she said, they're just going to kill y'all. She said, me, they're going to rape me first. Then they're going to kill me. You know what I mean? Then they're going to eat me. You know what I mean? And, so, that's, and that's all in the scriptures, too. Yeah. You know, in these last days, women going to get ravaged. You know, they're going to get raped. You know, ran through all of that, man. You know, all, all these different... Passed around. Passed around. Like, these different men that's in prison locked up for... Uh, Forever for they got life in prison. When when same for EMP attack happened, all oh, power go out, they doors open, you know, because all that's electronic. They come out, now they free. You got the um, people in the same asylums, now they running loose. You got homeless people that woman clinking their heels, stepping over them, spitting on them. I'm like, give me a dollar. They gonna be raping them in that day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they gonna be breaking loose. And these gonna get it a lot. Being in these buildings with no power, man. No power. And then there's no law and order. You can't pick up yeah. a call 911. It's an EMP attack. So people just gonna be going door, and there's no food. People gonna be going door to door. It tells you the eyes here, thirteen, thirteen. Let me get it. Let's get that. And that's a woman gonna be humble. Woman gonna be so humble in that time. Watch, they gonna be like a church mouse, quiet, man. And they gonna be frightened and afraid, man. Right? Isaiah thirteen and thirteen. She was tells you men gonna be afraid. She yeah, said you saw afraid. men travailing as women. Yep. Men they hearts, yeah. It's like they gonna see that too. Women gonna see that, you know, these regular old men, they gonna be terrified like like shit bricks, you know, but they gonna see the man of the Lord. Why is he so calm? Why is he so stable? You know? So they gonna flock to that man. They gonna try to you know, listen, take away my reproach. You know, that's that's the as if one will come about. You know, but you guys we other regular men like people like him and regular Jake's, they gonna be like ah, screaming, scared, just like the woman, you know? So they gonna be like ah, he, he can't protect me, you know? And they people think guns are gonna save him. Guns not gonna save him. Like say the dude got what a Glock nine, eight bullets in the chamber. That's not gonna stop a missile. You can't shoot a missile. You know what I'm saying? You, you saw the you saw the first first movie. So uh, you saw when the uh, Russian mercenaries came, mm -hmm. they attacked the projects, and then niggas said they had guns. Yeah, what happened? Guns. They were clear, still they, clearing they, them they, niggas they out. They from floor to floor, clearing, yeah, clearing them out. it out. That's crazy. They had Russian mercenaries. They had other white militia groups. Yo, man, that movie. Yo, they show you in plain sight what they're about to do, man. And that, was a, and that was the most latest purge that came out, and yeah. it was going to the first purge. And they said it was called the first started. purge, yeah. yeah. And it would tackle, they would tackle black and Hispanic neighborhoods yeah. first. Yeah. See? And 
they always put that in the Purge movies. Like Purge Election, yeah, they had um Judah on down to Issachar. Yeah. And Issachar right, who came from Mexico and a Judah, his name was Joe in the movie. Yeah. So they show you like Judah on down to Issachar, the Israelites. They always symbolizing the Israelites. How did that's who don't they go attack? They gonna go for. They had, they had like the Nazi symbols, white supremacist, yeah. had white power in the back of their yeah. vest. Yeah. They come in, man. Those yeah. are the ones, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You saw getting ready to come down with great wrath, man. You see? And that day, that's when honestly people say this like, yo, know, kids try to fight enough. That's when we're gonna really hold them down, man. They're not gonna try to, like, you know, um, who wear the pants in the family. They they gonna take they go like, listen, I don't wear the pants in the family. Like, I, I'm not the man. I cannot protect you. I need you to protect me. That's how it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them, a lot of them gonna get raped. Yeah. A lot of them gonna, a lot of them gonna get killed. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just gonna be bad, man. It is. All right. Because think about it, men, rape men in prison. How much more is gonna be out here with field day, man? And it's a law, a lawless society. Yeah, a no, lawless society, man. No law, no order. You know, chaos everywhere. You can't call the cops. Like right now in Austin, Texas, they got a billboard that says "Enter at your own risk" because they're defunding the police. So they literally saying, "Listen, enter Austin, Texas at your own risk." You know what I'm saying? So you go in there, anything can happen to you. We let you know right now, enter at your own risk. You see, so you could go in there, get raped. You go in there, get shot, stabbed. You call the cops, they never come. You see, that's gonna that's be the whole America battle on the great very soon. See, no, no phones, nothing. But the most I don't deliver is elect. You know, the most I got is men. Those that truly believe on him, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he got us. You know, he gonna deliver us, guide us, protect us. Miraculous things gonna happen, so we got nothing to really worry about. You know? But these other people out here, they through, man. They, they done. Dead bodies in every place. This is me, man, it's me chaos, man. But I got that food. Isaiah oh, 13. yeah, Isaiah 13, 13? Isaiah 13, 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. She's talking about the missiles, man, yeah. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts, in the day of his fierce anger, it shall it shall be as the chaste robe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people. Race rights. Race rights. Go yeah. ahead. And flee everyone into his own land. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna try to, because they're gonna see this place, there's no recovery. Right? It's beyond any hope, man. You can see that right now. You see what I'm saying? All these crazy ass restrictions and this, yep. that, and the third. You got a quarantine and the contact tracing, and it's only going to get worse, man. You're going to divide families, take kids away. <clears throat> They're talking about some of these schools in order to open or stay open in an orange zone. They got to get tested every week, man. Mm. So, what if the kid tests positive, man? Then what? Kumo and Blasio on a lot of bullshit right now. You see? Okay. Verse uh, 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Yeah, man. So anybody, any our people that want to be Toms and my white friend here and there, they're going to get thrust through. See, it's going to be your race right. It's going to be famine, food shortages. And you could top it off with other diseases as well. And then, like we were saying, an EMP attack, electromagnetic pulse, no power. Anything with a circuit board is, has become shorted, man. So your phone down, the bus is down, cars is down, street lights down, planes down, man. So the EMP attack hit and a plane is in the sky, that shit is falling, man. Yeah. Okay? And he showed that chaos, it's, man. There was some show I was watching and they literally showed that. Uh, I believe the show was The Revolution. And it showed that, it showed up, um, an uh, EMP attack, it wasn't, I don't know if it was an EMP attack, I think it was, they showed it in the movie, but then all power went out, and all planes started falling from the sky, and like, people was like screaming, like, oh snap, everything just falling from the sky, all the cars stopped. Yo, that's gonna be horrifying, yeah. man, horrifying. Yeah. And, like, and like we said, if they bring it in the winter time, that's even worse, man. That's even worse, man. Because everything is harder to do when it's extremely cold. And then you have a famine, and then they made ration food, so now people gotta line up. Man, it's just, yeah, people go berserk. People just gonna go berserk. They're gonna be waiting on the line for a good five hours, and they're gonna just. I'm tired of this. Like, <laughs> storming in this place, man. Yeah. You know, they're gonna run in there, rush in there, try to grab as much food as they can. Yeah, you know, what is You got troops shooting them down. Ooh. You know, it'd be, yeah, it'd be crazy. Like that movie Containment. I mean, like, they show Containment. I watched yeah, it. Yeah, I, yeah. I still gotta watch the rest of it. Yeah, but I, I remember show. the first scene I seen that. That was snap. That's a good show. Yeah. That's a good show, man. Yeah. And that came out in 2016. So like you were saying, what well, that signified that when, when Trump became president, everything, all these things gonna happen. And like we were saying, he might just be the last president. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Verse 16. And their children also shall be dashed to pieces people before their eyes. Killing people's children, man. 
passion into pieces, man. You know? That's yeah, the time period of the Lord, man. You are fear the Lord. That's the time period that we're going to come into, man. People going to be killing women and children, man. Like it's nothing, man. Uh, read on down. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. Raped. It's going to be raping people, wives. People just may do it just for the fun of doing it or because they can. You know? Run up in there, shoot the husband. Yeah, that's exactly why he said that. Exactly. He said, wants you to have child Bless all the yeah. parents. You know, Bless it all the parents. Yeah. That's right. Now's not the time. Honestly, now's not the time to have children. You know? It's, it's not. So, the kingdom, trust and believe, brother, we're going to have many children. The kingdom. It says one man can become a strong nation. A little yeah. one, a thousand. That was, that's Isaiah 6, the end yeah. of it. It's the end of that's it. what we're saying. That's what you, what, you, what we're going to get what the Lord said. We, you, matter of fact, we're going to read it. As he said, warns you that child suckling in Matthew 24, but then he also said, and um, he said, the daughters of Jerusalem, don't weep for me. I think that's Luke 23. Luke 23? Okay, come on. Let's bring this up. Who playing? I believe so. I'm just like that. Yep. Luke 23 and 27. And there followed him a great company of people. And a woman which also be well than lamenting him. But yeah, I was shot. Yeah, that's what he was about to go on the cross. Yeah, dead. But yeah, I was shot turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are the days are coming, and the which they shall say, Bless are the barren, and the wombs that never bear, and the paths that never gave suck. Yeah, they said the days gonna come. Because you know the woman breastfeed her children. Yeah, suckling, yeah, of her titties. The day is going to come where you're going to say, Blessed is the parent. Blessed are the woman who had no children. Because in 70 AD, especially the last strong of Masada, the Israelites had, the Romans allowed nothing to come in and nobody could leave. They surrounded the city. So no food was coming in. So people later, they started eating their clothes, they started eating leaves, and then later on, they started eating their own children. They saw that their own children killing and eating their own trip cannibalism see especially in this day and time you got that's, that's all. but people got to be crazy to have kids right now yeah because like we said with the whole covid and the whole killer vaccine and then you have food shortages and like everything that we just mentioned but ain't no kid making it through all that the red that regular um average adult can't even make it through yeah. all that man See, if you're a man and you by yourself and you you on the road, you on the run, 